Welcome to this demo. Over the next few minutes, we will show you how integration between Sage 1 and Sage 50 Accounting Canadian Edition works. If you're a small business using Sage 50 Accounting, integrating with Sage 1 will help you complete everyday tasks like invoicing and recording expenses much faster. You'll also get paid faster by allowing your clients to pay you from within your invoice using their credit or debit card. And while Sage 50 users are usually limited to working on a PC or laptop, if you integrate it with Sage 1, you can do basic accounting tasks on any device with a web browser, including Macs, mobile phones, or tablets. If you're an accountant who uses Sage 50 accounting, the integration now allows you to access your Sage 1 client's data without having to leave Sage 50. Your client can enter transactions in Sage 1 and you can work on their data in Sage 50. This is great if you have clients who are just starting out with accounting software or if they prefer something simpler than Sage 50. In addition, you can save time by using Sage One's bank feed feature to automatically import transactions from your client's bank, credit card, or PayPal accounts. This will reduce the amount of data entry you have to do, and it can reduce the amount of paper being transferred between you and your client. Before we start, please make sure that your Sage 50 accounting is running version 2015.3 or higher. To find out your current version, open Sage 50, go to the Help menu, and then click About Sage 50. You will also need an active Sage 1 accounting subscription. First, we'll cover getting your Sage 50 information into Sage 1 so that it is available for use online or when using your mobile. This will avoid you having to manually copy information across into Sage 1. Let's go into Sage 50. From the File menu, we select Connect to Sage 1 and then Log in to Sage 1. We grant Sage 50 access to the Sage 1 company and start the connection wizard. We'll click Next, select the company and click Next again. The third step allows us to upload accounts to Sage 1. Let's click Upload Accounts. It is recommended you sign into Sage 1 to verify existing records and to avoid duplicates. We'll do so now. Back into Sage 50, we'll choose the accounts we want to upload. And upload them. A notification appears once the accounts have been uploaded. Click OK. You can now match the Sage 1 categories to the Sage 50 accounts. As an added benefit, the uploaded accounts are automatically mapped. You won't need to map the accounts, customers, vendors, and inventory and service items that you upload to Sage 1. Please note, the Sage 1 sales taxes are automatically mapped to Sage 50 sales taxes, making setup even easier. The tax codes are also automatically mapped. The last screen in the wizard has the option for uploading customers, vendors, and items to Sage 1. First, we will upload all the customers to Sage 1. And then we will upload all the vendors. Finally, we'll upload all the items. We can now see the new records in Sage 1. We are now ready to start entering transactions in Sage 1, either from the website or using the mobile app. As you have seen, you can now upload records from Sage 50 to Sage 1 and the sales taxes are automatically mapped. The Sage 1 integration to Sage 50 allows you to do basic accounting tasks on any device with a web browser. 
From all of us at SAGE, we thank you for joining us. For more learning opportunities, we invite you to visit SAGE University at www.sageu.com. You can also find additional resources on SAGE City or the Knowledge Base.